In this lesson, we are going to look at three-dimensional points. Have you ever heard of 3D? Well, that actually stands for three dimensions. Now, what does that even mean? Well, up till now, we've only done two dimensions. You see, we had a horizontal, which we called X, and then we had a vertical, which we called Y. So we had horizontal and vertical. So we had two dimensions. Now we are going to start looking at three dimensions, which looks like this. So here we have um, an X, a Y, which so the X actually goes the X goes into the page or into the screen and out of the screen. The Y, I mean the Z now goes up and down, and the Y goes left and right. So we still have left and right, which is horizontal. We still have up and down, which is vertical. But now we also have into the screen and out of the screen. And so we now have a third dimension, which we call 3D. So what you must remember is that it always goes um, alphabetical. So it's X, Y, Z. So if you want to plot this point now, so it says minus 1. Okay, so minus one on the x-axis. Now I need to explain. Um, this is the positive x-axis. So this would be like one, two, three, four. Then going backwards into the screen, that is the negative. So negative one, well, let's put that over here. Um, negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four. Okay, now for the y-axis, this is positive. The way that you tell is look at the letters, x, y, and z. They are always labeled on the positive side. You see, so here the X's are positive, then the Y's are positive on this side, and then the Z's are positive on that side. So this would be 1, 2, 3, and 4. Then this would be negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4. For the Y's, I mean for the Z, that's 1, 2, 3, and 4. And then going down, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4. Okay, so we're going to go plot negative 1 on the X axis. So that's going to be over here, but you don't put a, that, so you're not going to stop there, that's just the first place. Then we're going to go one on the Y, so we're going to go across one on the Y, and then we're going to go down by one to the, to the Z of negative one, so that's going to be somewhere over there. Okay, so I hope that that makes sense. So what I did is I went backwards one on the X because it said negative one, then we're going to go one on the Y, so that's going to go that way, and then we're going to go one down on the Z, so that's going to go um, over there, like that over there. And so your final answer would be there. You've just plotted a little dot um, in three dimensions. So here's our next one. So we're going to go four on the x-axis. So that's going to be one, two, three, four. So we over there. Okay, so that's our first step. Then we're going to go one on the y, or negative one. So we're going to go one to the side. So there's negative one. And then we're going to go um, three down. So that's going to take us... Um, it's a bit difficult to see in three dimensions. So then you're going to go three down. So it's like one, two, three. Okay. So it doesn't always line up perfectly with these lines because we are in three dimensions. So it looks a bit weird. So you would put your final dot somewhere over there. So it doesn't line up perfectly with that one. It's the whole three dimensional thing. Okay. So I know it does look a bit weird, but let me just go through that again with you. So what we did was we went four this way. So we were there. Then we went uh, one to the side. It would be nice if we had like grids everywhere. So one to the side, and then we're going to go three down. So one, two, three. I'm just sort of looking at this distance, and I'm using that as my spacer. So it would be somewhere over there, for example. Okay, and so that would be your final answer over there. Here's the next one. So we don't move on the x-axis because that's zero. So we stay there. Then we go two on the y. So we go one, two on the y. So now we're over here. And then we go one down. So we're going to go one down. So we are probably somewhere over there. Okay, so later on in this lesson, so we're still going to do another two examples or so. And then we're going to start looking at, then they're going to give us the dot. And then we're going to determine what the coordinates will actually be. Okay, so stick around for that. Um, so let's do this one now. So it's negative one on the x. So we go um, backwards one like that. And then we're going to go one for the y. So that means we're going to go this way. So now we're over there. And then we're going to go three up. So one. Now you don't literally go to this one um, because then your point would be here. But in three dimensions, it doesn't really work that way. So 
you got to almost just look at this distance. So you got to go up one, two, and then three. So it would be somewhere over there. Okay, I know that's a bit weird, but it's just because of the whole three-dimensional nature. Okay, so that's where we would be over there. Okay, so here's the next one. So we're going to go one on the x, or negative one. So we're going to go one back. So now we're there. Then we're going to go two for the y, but two backwards. So it's one, two. So it would be somewhere over there. And then we're going to go three down. So just use this distance. Okay, so we're going to go like that, one, like that again, two, and like that again, three. See, so it almost looks like we lined up with the negative two, but it's just got to do with the dim three-dimensional nature. So it looks a bit weird. I hear you. I get it. It's, it is weird. But that's where you would be over there. Now they're going to give you... Um, the points, and you need to try to determine what the coordinate would be. So it's always x first. So we started here, and they've showed us the dotted line. So don't even look there. Don't even look there. Follow the dotted lines. So they went there. So that's 1. Then for the y, they went um, all the way up to there. So that's 2. Okay. See, because the y is on 2. See that? So that's 2. And then for the x, I mean for the z, um, this one's always difficult because you would, it, yeah, it's, it is quite difficult to see, but, um, that's one, that's two, that's three. So it's pretty much by the three. You might argue that it's the two, but if you look carefully, so look at the distance of one unit. That's how far it is, right? So if you had to do that, you'd go there and no, that's a bit far. So it's about there. It's also a bit far, uh, there. Then you do that again, there. And then you do it again, there. You see, so it's three. So, and that would be positive three, like that. Let's do another one. Okay, so we start with x. Now, this one's quite easy. Uh, you can see it's gone two back, so that would be negative two. Then for the y, we've gone all the way up to this part. It would be nice if they also showed us on the z-axis, but that's, that's the thing. It's difficult for them to do that. So one, two, three, four. That's why we got there. So that's going to be four. And now for the z, Let's try C. So that distance there is about that far. Then the next one, two, then again, and then again. So it's about four here. So there we go. Even though it doesn't line up perfectly with the fourth one, it's due to the three-dimensional nature. Okay, so we've got another three examples. So we start with X. So if you look on the X-axis, we went one, two, three, four. If you look on the Y, we went one back. And then if you look on the Z, we haven't gone up or down, so that would be a zero. Don't just not fill anything in. You must say zero. And I'm using semicolons, but your teacher might use a comma, okay? So that's not so important. You must just use whatever your teacher uses. All right, here's our next example. So um, for the X, we're going two places. That's two. For the Y, we're going one, two, three, four. Four, but that's in the negative y direction, so always look out for that. And then for the z, um, I like to just use the distance. So if you go one and then two, it's about two of those. But it's two down, so that would be negative two, not positive two. If it was positive two, it would go up. And so here's our last example. So for the x, we've gone one, two, three. For the y, we have not gone left or right, so that would be zero. Don't just not fill in anything. And then for the z, we've gone, I'd say that's about one, two. It's about two of those distances. It's definitely not three, but it went two down, so you would say negative two. Some of you might be like, yeah, but Kevin, it's lining up with the three, bro. I know, but it's three dimensions, so it's a bit weird. So look at this distance. So it's gone about one up to there. Two. It's definitely not three of those, okay? So you could almost use your straight edge and just measure that length, and you would see that this length is exactly the same. That's how you can do it.